Hello, this is Ruth Hamilton and today I've got a very short video. It's another in a series of colouring in one of my digi images from my website Ruth Hamilton Design. So really what I'm wanting to do is go through all of the images eventually. I'll get through them all but at the moment I'm just going through them one by one and adding a very short video to show you how I've coloured some of the images in. Now they're digital images so they're not physical stamps so that means that whenever you buy them you can download them and resize them and then print them out in whatever size you like. So as you can see you can have them very tiny like this or you can print them in a bigger size as I've done on this one. Um, I really hope that you just enjoy them and don't get too fussed about the detail uh, as you practice a bit or maybe you are a proper seasoned colourist so maybe you know exactly what to do. If not, just enjoy them and colour them in with whatever medium that you prefer yourself. I prefer alcohol markers, but sometimes I use pencils. So it's basically whatever you enjoy, just go ahead and do that because uh, I think colouring particularly is very therapeutic and it's really to be enjoyed. So first of all, I'm going to have a quick look through these and then I'll show you one of, I'll just speed the video up and show you the colouring process. So I have printed these out and this is the one that I'll be colouring and I've used Pink Lady, Paradise Pink, Pea Pod, Vine Leaf and Bright Sunflower Nouveau Alcohol Markers from Tonic to colour this one. And in the video I speed through it very fast but I will have all the colours marked in and you can see exactly where I've changed. And also you can see where occasionally I have gone over the line and I have just taken my blender pen and I've removed the colour with it so that's a very helpful tip and that works with all alcohol markers. The blender pen just removes the colour and uh, helps you out when you've done something like that. So that's that one. Then this is a kind of similar with just uh, more white in the centre, a bigger rose and uh, some slightly paler pink. So just go ahead and try out different colours that you like. Obviously. I've called these wild roses because that's what I drew them as, but you know, you can just colour them in with whatever you like. You can make a very modern looking card like this, or you can go for something very vintage like this, or you can colour it in totally abstract colours just to match whatever you like yourself. There's a very tiny little one that I've made a tag with. This one again, now I've made more vintage with uh, paler shades on it, and I've made a little uh, easel card there. It's just from a, a one sheet that's all folded up and then I make the, the little easel card like that. So you can see it there. And maybe sometime when I get a chance I'll do a few videos. I intend to do that as well to show actually how to use the images. Once you've coloured them up I like to fussy cut them and then um, use them on cards. And maybe I'll show you some ideas of making them up into cards as well. So that's that one. And then for this one I thought I didn't really want pink at all on another one so I've used these colours. Um, so what have I got here? Sweet Vanilla, Apricot Blush, Desert Sage and Fruit Punch. And I've coloured this one in, in more kind of vintage colours. And I have used one of the tonic shaker pockets on that and filled it up with little sequins. And you can see there how effective that is. I've actually put the image, glued it onto the top of the acetate so that it doesn't hold back any of the sequins on the inside. So I hope you enjoy that. The, the images are all from my website, Ruth Hamilton Design. I'll have that all linked down below. I'll also put a link to the tonic markers if you like. That'll be my affiliate links and I will earn a little commission from that if anyone buys those, but it doesn't cost you any more. And I hope you really enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like. There's lots more videos there, there's lots more to come and not necessarily all colouring but there's all sorts of things as well because I do enjoy all sorts of card making and different crafts as well. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Please enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.